as he ends this wonderful practical letter, Paul summarizes the gospel message in chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. Now I make known to you, brethren, the gospel which I preached to you, which also you received, in which you stand, by which also you are saved, if you hold fast the word which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that he appeared to more than five hundred brethren at one time, most of whom remain until now, although some have died. And then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, And last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared to me also. The truth of Christ's resurrection means that those who belong to him will also be raised from the dead to newness of life. In Christ, all will be made alive, he says in verse 22. And here's verse 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep or die, but we will all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For this perishable must put on the imperishable, and this mortal must put on immortality. But when this perishable will have put on the imperishable, and this mortal will have put on immortality, then will come about the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, And the power of sin is the law, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through the Lord Jesus Christ. So continue to live and serve faithfully, full of hope, even in these days. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your toil is not in vain in the Lord. God bless your day and your weekend. See you Sunday.